Let the good times roll. It's very rare for the official Mafia game account to post something on Sunday. The last time they posted on Sunday was on May 10th, 2020, three days before Mafia Definitive Edition was revealed. If you take a look at the official Mafia Game X account, you'll see that since May 10th, 2020, they've posted hundreds of times but not once on a Sunday. The reason I bring this up is because last Sunday I posted a video revealing the Don for Mafia The Old Country, Don Teresi, and coincidentally, hours later, the official Mafia Game X account posted the following, keep it in the family, hashtag Mafia The Old Country. I find it odd that the official Mafia Game account posted the second hint after I released a video talking about the first hint. A lot of my subscribers suggested maybe the official Mafia Game account saw my video. This new post gives us more insight into the story of Mafia The Old Country. If the speculation in my last video is correct, this would mean the individuals in these paintings are the Teresi family. The top painting is of Don Teresi, the middle painting is of Mrs. Teresi, and the bottom picture is of their daughter. If you've seen my trailer analysis video, then you would know that love is going to be a big theme in Mafia TOC. It's important to recognize that every detail in this 45 second teaser trailer was carefully crafted. Each frame, no matter how brief, holds significance and contributes to the overall message and impact. Nothing in this short video is incidental. Every second is intentional and loaded with meaning. For those who haven't watched my trailer breakdown video, there are two key moments where the theme of love is evident. The first moment is shown five seconds into the trailer, where we see two heads with a revolver between them. Testa de Moro, or Moore's heads, are traditional Sicilian ceramic head-shaped vases, or sculptures that typically depict a Moorish man and a Sicilian woman. There are two versions of the story behind these Sicilian heads, both set in the 11th century, spanning the years 1001 to 1100 AD. The first version goes like this. An Arab soldier serving in Palermo saw a beautiful girl on one of the balconies in the Calsa neighborhood. He fell in love with her. The girl returned his love and a passionate love story was born. Unfortunately, the young soldier did not tell the poor girl that he had a wife and children waiting for him back home. When he had to leave, he confessed the truth to her. The Sicilian girl, discovering all this, felt betrayed. She became furious and devised a plan to make the young man stay there with her forever. During the last night they spent together, she beheaded him, made a vase with his head and planted basil in it. Eventually the basil grew very abundantly. The neighbors saw this extraordinary growth and wanted similar vases with the face of a moor. What you just heard was the first version of the story. The second version goes like this. A Sicilian noblewoman falls in love with a Moorish man and they begin a secret affair. However, the romance does not remain hidden for long. When her family learns of the relationship, they view it as a betrayal to their family's honor and to Sicilian customs of the time, which restricted such unions. In some accounts, both are perceived to have brought disgrace upon their respective families or communities. As punishment, the couple is publicly beheaded to serve as a warning against forbidden love, and their severed heads are displayed as a grim reminder. Eventually, these heads are said to inspire the ceramic planter tradition, symbolizing the intensity of love and its potential for ruin when it crosses forbidden lines. This version highlights themes of societal constraints and the severe consequences of defying them. I believe the plot for Mafia TOC will resemble the second version, as the protagonist in the first version is already married and is killed by his lover. I find it unlikely that we will play as a cheating man. The second version seems more plausible. This means in Mafia the Old Country, we might play as an outsider of low status, who joins the Teresi crime family and falls in love with the boss's daughter. The revolver placed between the two heads in the trailer hints at a potential choice at the game's climax. Either remain loyal to the Don and end the relationship with his daughter, or betray the Don and choose love. The theme of love is highlighted a second time 12 seconds into the trailer. Aces and Galatea is a painting by Pompeo Batoni that depicts a scene from Greek mythology. The story of Aces and Galatea tells of a love triangle involving Aces, a handsome Sicilian shepherd, 
Galatea, a sea nymph, and Polyphemus, a fearsome cyclops. Aces and Galatea were deeply in love, but Polyphemus, who also desired Galatea, became wildly jealous when he discovered their relationship. Driven by rage, Polyphemus hurled a massive boulder from Mount Etna at Aces, crushing him. Galatea then transformed his blood into sparkling waters that flowed from beneath the rock, thus creating the Sicilian River Aces. The stories of Testa di Moro and Aces and Galatea share several similarities. Both stories center on passionate love that leads to tragic consequences. Jealousy is a driving force in both tales. In the Testa di Moro story, jealousy over status and reputation could have fueled the family's violent response to the lover's relationship. The couple's beheading becomes a twisted act of jealousy, driven not by romance but by a need to protect status, control, and family honor. In summary, both stories explore the themes of love and tragedy, showcasing how jealousy can lead to fatal consequences, while also highlighting the cultural significance of these tales in Sicilian heritage. They serve as cautionary tales about the intensity of love and the dire results of jealousy and betrayal. I believe the official Mafia game account is suggesting the story for Mafia the Old Country will revolve around a lower class man who joins the Teresi crime family, rises through the ranks, while ultimately falling in love with the boss's daughter, resulting in a climactic choice, either remain loyal to the Don or choose his daughter along with the associated consequences. I believe my analysis of hint number one regarding the Don being Don Teresi is correct. I'm also confident that my analysis of hint number two, which suggests that the protagonist of Mafia the Old Country will be a low status outsider who joins the Teresi family and falls in love with the boss's daughter is correct as well. The fact that the official Mafia game account hasn't posted on a Sunday for four years and then suddenly shares a hint right after I uploaded my video analyzing the first hint seems too coincidental to overlook. Plus, there are two main instances in the teaser trailer where the theme of love is displayed. The first instance is the Testa di Moro, or Moore's Heads and the second instance is the Aces and Galatea painting. I'm just glad to be the first one on the internet to discover who the Don is in the next Mafia game, and I'm also stoked that I deduce the game's plot from three random paintings. If you disagree with my speculations, then please explain to me what else these three paintings could mean. Why would the official Mafia game say, keep it in the family? Why would they deliberately showcase the Sicilian heads with a revolver between them, and out of the countless paintings in the world, why did it have to be of Asus and Galatea? This game will make Tommy Angelo and Sarah's relationship look like a joke. I have a feeling Mafia the Old Country will be the new fan favorite. As for the game, Nick Baines, the president of Hangar 13 Games, said it will be linear and immersive like the first two Mafia games. I'm Nick Baines, president of Hangar 13. What you just saw is the first early look at Mafia the Old Country, a thrilling story set in 1900s Sicily during the origins of the Mafia. We're going back to the roots of what fans love about the Mafia franchise, crafting a deep linear narrative with that classic mob movie feeling. Mafia's success is built on our players' passion for the franchise, and we're so proud to return to Mafia with the Old Country. We can't wait to show you all more. Thanks for watching. I guess we'll find out more this December when we see the official story trailer. Mafia the Old Country will likely release summer 2025 since GTA 6 is set to release in fall 2025. I think releasing before GTA 6 is a smart move, even if both games have completely different audiences. Releasing any game in fall or winter 2025 would be a financial mistake as GTA 6 media coverage would likely overshadow anything related to Mafia TOC. I'm sure that Take-Two Interactive would want to maximize the amount of money Mafia TOC can potentially make and would avoid any decisions that might limit their own financial success. Take-Two can aggressively market Mafia TOC from December 2024 to summer 2025. Mafia Definitive Edition was announced in spring 2020 and released in fall 2020, so summer does seem like a realistic release date. Feel free to comment below whether you agree or disagree with my speculations. I would be grateful if you could like and share this video, 
as it took me an entire day to edit it. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more Mafia game content. And as always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, then please support me by becoming a member of this channel today. Join the familia today at youtube.com slash at mafia game videos slash join. Link is in the description below. I appreciate your support. Thank you.